thought it was, I thought it extended. That's not gonna help me. That does nothing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. I think this is the first like live video workout since Olympia. So what's today's date? Today's uh, 29th, 30th, 29th. Hold on guys. It's 28th. So I just got back from vacation. My wife and I's 30th anniversary this past weekend. We also just had Thanksgiving. So to say the least, I relaxed the past week, week and a half. So. <laughs> I worked out so like four times. I got to work out in with Omar Ventura and Johnny Sebastian. And I also worked out with Mehdi, who was a men's physique Olympian um, down in the Bay Area. So we get my workouts in, but as far as the diet, definitely chilled this past week, enjoy some good food, eating ice cream probably the last three nights. Had a couple margaritas this weekend with my wife. We had an amazing time. That was like our first real vacation away from Eliana. We, she stayed at her grandparents' house. A super necessary time. It was really good for us to spend a few days in Carmel. If you guys ever been to Carmel below Santa Cruz, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. We stayed at the uh, Hyatt Highlands, amazing resort. We actually kind of got sucked into doing a timeshare thing for next, next time we go, we got the special deal. So we gotta go attend a 90 minute timeshare meeting next time we go, but. <laughs> <laughs> we got suckered in, man. It was a beautiful place. And the guy was a good salesman, but <laughs> we're starting our off season now, you guys. Um, I've mentioned that next few months, I'm kind of going to be relaxing. I'm going to be taking some time off the PEDs and stuff. We we'll trying to have another baby. We want to add another one to his family. So that's where we're working on the next few months. I got my blood work done last week. Message transcend. They got my lab sent over. So uh, today I got the blood work back. I'm going to be reviewing with the specialist tomorrow to see where we're at. I'm very interested to see the results and that's gonna dictate a lot of you know, the next few months for myself. Nonetheless, we're gonna get some back in today. We got some of the guys in here. I just saw Antonio Smothers, you guys seen him in my videos. The dude's gained like 20 pounds of flats on my tongue. He's getting ready for his, his men's physique uh, comeback as well. He hasn't been on stage in like two years, so we're all excited for him here at the gym. If this one's still not tall enough, I quit, we're going home. <laughs> all right. We're gonna work out today. You'd think I eat, I'd eat more during the holidays, but it's not, that's not the case because I don't, I don't give as many meals in. I'll eat like two or three meals throughout the day and then have a big meal at night. My weight actually dropped I'm like 197 pounds. Last week I was like 202, 203. I do want to enjoy Christmas in that week. That's like a given. So I got to make sure I get back on my food the remainder of this month and the first few weeks of December. So that's, the, that's my plan. So I'm gonna clean it up and then be able to enjoy the holidays. Who, whose playlist is this? I'm gonna fall asleep. I play conscious rap. I said this shit earlier. I said, when did we start playing conscious rap? I said, I'll be after there. Got the song that's on the playlist. So it's one of those. This is not my fucking So much fun when you're in the gym and then you come off and they get on and they get all huge while I get all small. So much fun. It's all right, because when I was on prep, Antonio was taking his time off. So now I get to feel, feel a little bit. <laughs> so my, it messes your head though. I know a lot of us go through the same thing. Just trying to stay mentally strong through that, that off season, that off time and not, start thinking negatively towards yourself or getting upset or depressed or any of that stuff. And I know that's gonna be a, a challenge for me the next few months. And, you know, I just feel that now I'm strong enough to handle it. Whereas before, that's one of the things that caused me to slip. So time will tell, but mentally I'm preparing for it. What is this equipment for giants? <laughs> It's 
crazy uh, how much better my body feels right now to how it did feel on prep. Not just with the motions, but like my strength obviously shot back up now and I'm not super depleted. I got some weight back on me. I took probably eight, maybe nine or 10 days off from actually weight training. I was just doing cardio. When I got back in the gym, after getting some more food in me that week, I had one of the best weeks of training I've had in a long time. And this past three weeks, I've had really good training sessions, despite being off cycle and, you know, uh, despite not even eating as good. I've been getting out more calories, I mean, eating more freely, but my strength is shot back up. I'm not having those same little nagging pains that I was having all prep. <laughs> I guess it's good news I'm feeling good going into my off season. You know, I'm not really expecting to make any improvements or too many gains in the next few months. It's more about just trying to stay in good shape, keep my metabolism healthy and not get too fat. So when I do start my off season or start prep again, my body will be in a good place. I don't have to spend time to try to build my metabolism back up and get stubborn body fat off. I don't have to put on much size in my off season. I mean, I was over my weight limit, so I gotta be careful of not getting too much weight. As I was talking about, the big guy over here was about our, about our weight cap. And we gotta be careful of not growing too much in our off season, packing on too much new uh, lean tissue because it's hard to tell how much you're really gonna weigh until the very end of prep and you realize those last five pounds that you thought was gonna be body fat is actually new lean muscle tissue built in the off season. And then you're screwed. So <laughs> I don't gotta get much bigger. I don't want to go get any over like go over like 205 or 210 in my off season. Uh, that's what I got to last time. But uh, that takes a little bit of stress off of me during this time period of knowing I have um, I'll have time on my side as far as not having to spend too much growing. It's too light now. You like this one better? It turned out good. So VQ just dropped their second collab of Dragon Ball Z. All these guys love it. I'll show you guys the other one. With Goku. So we've been doing these collabs with Dragon Ball Z this past year. Everybody loves these things. Personally, I'm not the biggest Dragon Ball Z fan, but I know a lot of you guys are. I like the way the shirts look, they're dope. Well, you guys, uh, there's gonna be a link in my bio if you guys wanna snag one of these. They aren't sold out. These things usually fly. Oh. Weekend took it out of me. We ate pretty, we ate really bad all weekend. We drank symptom margaritas for like two days. We didn't drink that much. We spaced our drinks out pretty good. But we haven't, drinking hasn't been something we've done very much of. Like we'll have a glass of wine here or there, like, but probably in like last, that's probably the most we drank in three, three years. This is Ella was born at least. It's getting old. We're, in, we're back in our hotel room at like 9.30 every night. <laughs> Asleep by like 11. <laughs> up, up. 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 Oh. Oh. 
up. Ugh. Move it along. Antonio, have you tried the Nick's ice cream? It's better than Halo Top. It's like a light ice cream from... Bro. Have you tried that one yet? Have you, tried, have you tried that ice cream yet? Nix? Oh, no. It's so good, bro. It's, it's only like the same calories as Halo Top. Way better. Way better than Halo Top. I had a... I had like their sweetest dessert one, which is like a brownie and cookie dough on chocolate ice cream. And then I, last night I had the Rocky Road. And if you like almonds, they put a hell of almonds in there, which I like, but it's, it's really good. Single arms, pull back on them. How are you taking your adult out of it? Yeah. Pull back a little more of the scapula. Yeah. And then you, you kind of target where you feel it. Because like, depending on where you pull, you'll feel different portions. <laughs> I'm trying not to, I'm not trying not to pull the way I pulled the Rudell. Because the Rudell I pull out of the way. But, so I'm trying to retract. Let me go a little lighter. You lead it your elbow? Aren't you using this cable? Aren't you using this cable? Okay. <laughs> I usually use these for Adele's, but I feel that in the Romboy for sure. <laughs> this bench is high, so I'm gonna try something a little different, go light. So hopefully it doesn't go and <laughs> squeeze my balls too bad. Too high. I'm trying to go up and back. Yeah, all right. Jeremy might know what he's talking about. <laughs> no respect in this champ. Yeah, only four. Oh, she's gonna be in here doing it tomorrow. <laughs> now I forbid you from doing that exercise. No, I'm not allowed to do it. You're not allowed to do it. You made fun of me. You remember when this song was cool? I was, I was like, I'm just gonna hold my words when he said my words back yeah, then. <laughs> this song was dope back in the day. <laughs>
All right, I grant you permission. You're fine. Can't still take you away from your gains. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, hey Trent, I just figured out this new one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gonna finish up with some back extensions. My lower back's a little it's bothering me. Did I talk about my back going out on me four weeks out? Four weeks? Uh, no, we never. We actually never posted the video either. There's a whole YouTube video that we <laughs> you can talk about that. So like I like threw my back out four weeks out, you guys. Pretty bad, I was out pretty much a whole week before I went to Pittsburgh. Yeah, we even filmed a YouTube video, a full day of like me going to the doctors, going to therapy, me like hobbling around in pain. And then when we were about to post it, I decided not to post it because I didn't want you guys to see me like that, that close to Olympia. I figured I'd just suck it up and bite the bullet and get through prep and finish strong, regardless of how bad I was hurting or not. But it was pretty bad. My back has been having an issue ever since. Um, like all my spinal rotations all jacked up. It's like right here. So like I sit like this too long, just like posturing up right here hurts. I'm gonna get an MRI done on that. I've had lower back problems for a long time. So this is just the worst it happened to be for that mid lower back area like ever. I don't know if I'll show you. If you guys wanna see that video, I guess I'll post it for you. Oh, he sucks so much. This is why I'm not doing any like barbell bent over rows, any rack pulls, deadlifts. Ugh, my back can handle it right now. Shoulders feel good now, but now my back's bothering me. <laughs> One thing or another. I really gotta focus on my stretching more. As much as I think I stretch, it's just not enough. And that was something I really gotta prioritize this off season, especially right now in this downtime that I'm having. I gotta get my body feeling healthy. And it's difficult to do because honestly, this stuff's just really boring. Like, and if my body hurts, so stretching is really very painful. It's just taxing and annoying and it's not like one of those, it's, a, it's an annoying pain. You sit and hold a stretch, just, it just sucks. You guys know how it is. But I gotta get it done. That's like the only thing. That's sort of the only thing I'm gonna be able to do to give, me, give myself relief. I gotta get at least the muscles around the joints healthy. And that will in turn stabilize everything and make everything else feel a lot better. It might not fix the issue, but it'll definitely give me relief and support around the issues. So you guys stand my ass while stretching. It's like in the comments, every, every video, like Jeremy, make sure you're doing your stretches. <laughs> Jeremy, don't forget to stretch. Hey Jeremy, did you do your stretches this week? You guys have been saying I've been motivating you all, all prep. I need you guys to help motivate me to stretch. gonna be a wrap for today's back workout. Nothing too crazy right now during this time, you guys. I wanna make sure I keep myself healthy, keep myself in the gym, keep moving. But um, yeah, the next few months, you guys, I'm not gonna bore you with workouts every single video. So we're gonna mix up some videos, put some different content out there for you guys. Honestly, I wanna know what you guys wanna see from me. You know, I've been hammering you guys the past six months with my comeback story and all the lessons I've learned, how I've grown. I don't wanna keep hammering you guys or lecturing you with those things, but you know, inspiration and motivation and video, those are what you wanna see from me. Like, let me know, I can do my best to keep those coming for you. But, you know, I wanna, I wanna mix, mix my content up and I wanna see what you guys wanna see from me and my family. And ultimately I make these videos for you guys. So I'm looking forward to the next few months. We're gonna keep the videos coming weekly. When I do announce, 
what show I'll be doing, my plans for 2024. You guys will be one of the first to know. And of course, once the prep starts, we'll be documenting every single step of that because like we said in the last video, five for five isn't over. The journey just continues. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys once again. So thank you guys, see you next time.